Check this out. Using a very simple prompt in Claude, I'm able to generate the entire NAN workflow in my workspace. On top of that, I could even take a screenshot of an existing NAN workflow and have it be replicated in my workspace in minutes. Stick around till the end, and I'm going to show you how to save hours building your NAN workflows. By the way, I'm Nimish, and I've been a developer and an entrepreneur for over 15 years, and this stuff is all I do all day long. Before we dive deep into this video, I wanted to give credit to Mark Kashev, whose original video is the inspiration of today's video. I'm going to leave a link to the video in the description below. Please make sure to watch it and follow his channel. I really like his content. I think he's doing some great work. Every component, every workflow within N8N is represented by an underlying JSON structure. So for example, let's add an AI agent here. And if we just drag it on to the canvas, and if you download, if we go up here, and if you download the representation of workflow and open it here in cursor, you will see that there is a JSON representation. So that's what we're trying to produce from within Claude is a JSON structure representation of components or workflow that you can work with. In Claude, we will be using something called Claude projects. What Claude projects are is that they are a customized workspace in which you give custom instructions and custom training documents to train Claude to understand a given context, and then you can have conversations and prompting just within that context. So for example, here I have created a N8N auto generation project, and I'll share all the documents below in the link in the description below. Here I have created a standard project workspace, and I have given custom instructions, project instructions. For example, I'm saying generate a complete and ready to use N8N workflow using these instructions right here below. I have explained what a detailed N8N JSON structure would look like and what you should include in a response such as sticky notes. As you can see, all these instructions here are clearly directing the Claude project with a very clear objective. Those are the project instructions. And if you come down here, I have also given a node definition structure where I'm very clearly explaining Claude what a N8N JSON structure should look like and how you should produce JSON for each N8N component. I have also included a best practices doc here that explains how to best produce the N8N JSON structure. Additionally, I have a lot of sample examples. For example, Postgres on how to produce a Postgres JSON structure and what that would look like. And you could upload as many examples as you like. You can use the N8N community to explore existing workflows and you could download those and you can now upload those community JSON into the Claude project workspace to train your Claude project into producing the JSON structure of your choice. So now let's interact with this project. So here I'm prompting the project to create a simple N8N JSON workflow that listens to a webhook and in response sends an email and generates an air table. It can take a bit longer, but now we have a JSON that's produced by Claude. So let's try it out. We're just going to directly copy this response and put it in an A. And I'm just going to simply copy in a brand new workspace. And check this out. Wow, how cool is this? All I've done is that I've copied the JSON into the workspace. And look at that. It has produced sticky notes and fully fleshed out workflow that listens to a trigger. It processes the webhook data, sends an email updates in Airtable record. This is awesome. This is gonna save you so much time. Now let's expand the sticky notes a little bit here. You might have to tweak somewhat. And then once you go into trigger, you can obviously configure each item in here. You're gonna to have to hook up your email provider here. You're gonna to have to also configure your Airtable instance. But there you go. Just by giving a prompt, you have, I would say, almost 80 to 90% off your workflow here. And now you have to just configure, tweak it a little bit, 
And this is going to save you a lot of time. So now that we've seen how to use Claude to generate NA and workflows, I'm going to show you another technique. If you watch any YouTube video using N8N tutorials, for example, this one, all you have to do is just take a screenshot. Like I'm going to take a screenshot here off this N8N workflow. I'm going to save it and let's go to Claude and I am going to upload this into Claude. Additionally, what we could do is we should take the transcript of the video. So you just go into the YouTube and click on show transcript. You will get the entire transcript on the side. And I'm going to copy this entire transcript now. Okay, so I've copied the entire transcript. And all you have to do is just come here and paste the transcript. And you will see the pasted transcript right here. Now let's prompt Claude to ask it to generate a N8N workflow using the provided transcript and the screenshot. Okay, so I have prompted Claude to ask it to generate a simple N8N workflow using the given transcript and screenshot. Let's see what happens. So it took some time and it has produced the JSON. Let's paste it into N8N and see what happens. Whoa, cool. Okay, this is very, very detailed and highly impressive. Just look at that. I All I did was I copied the JSON from Claude and it pretty much produced a good chunk of the workflow. You might need to rearrange some stuff and obviously test out all of your workflows, but it seems like it has done most of the work already. Might just need to move around a few things but it looks like it got everything. It does audio transcription, it connects and has confirmation from Telegram. Really, really cool. I am very impressed. So yeah, there you go. This is another way where you could simply copy and paste from a YouTube video and you could have almost 80% of the workflow there. You have to obviously go in there and tweak the credentials and make sure you test everything and make sure that everything lines up. And again, I'm going to reiterate that this is not 100% foolproof, but it gets you 80 to 90% there and it's going to save you a lot of time. Hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you got value out of this, please like and subscribe. Till next time.